the pattern that we laid out a few years ago in some papers that we published seems to be evolving. Although I would say allogeneic is, is perhaps evolving more quickly. You've got two different kinds of evolution. You've got the autologous therapies who definitely have a role. They're highly tailored. Um, they obviously um, escape some of the immunogenicity problems that are associated with allogeneic therapeutics. And there you can have very highly effective therapeutics that, that are life-changing for patients and they, have a, they definitely have a role and they have a place in the marketplace today. What you're seeing on the cell therapy side of things is the development of cell therapies which are capable of being more allogeneic, more widely manufactured um, and we're seeing people talking about the weaponization of uh, cells by adding different characteristics in. I think this is a very interesting um, direction of travel for allogeneic, it's something that everybody saw coming. There's a lot of investment going into the space. There's still a lot of work to do in the space. Um, uh, immunotolerance is, is, is going to be very important. But you know what? We've got brilliant scientists working on it and um, it will get cracked. But at the same time, you've, this is also running in parallel with developments in gene delivery in general. Which, uh, so it's all a, a highly thriving environment.